Well, let's go ahead and select the control total field just to make sure that we have imported everything correctly. Now, normally, um, we can define what a control field would be. If I know that I was uh, looking at 300 uh, records or if I knew the total amount of my invoices that I was importing based on a financial statement or anything like that, then I would know that my gross amount of accounts receivable um, would be in this case $435,864.85. So that's something that we can grab from our clients uh, financial statements and the way we verify that in, that we indeed or that we uh, actually imported all that data is to create a control total. So I am going to press a control total here and it's going to ask me which one should I base it on. So it immediately went to number fields, even though invoice number should be a text field, but I'm going to use the gross amount and it's going to ask me if I want to calculate it and I'm going to say yes. And then at point, I have 435, 864.85. And if we look at our document, um, at our worksheet, it does match. Let me just open it up real quick. Uh, it does match our $435,864.85. So let me move this out of the way. That matches the 435, 864. So we are done. Let me take a, a print screen. And I will go ahead and and paste it into my Word document so that I can see my, I actually got it done. That's it.